Hello again guys, my name is Manu, the head of the ReactJS department at Creative Team. And this is part 4 of ReactJS 2018 with Webpack 4, Bubble 7 and Material Design. In this last part we are going to add a nice product on top of what we've built so far that implements Google's Material Design. With some minor touches from the Creative Team staff. We are going to add Material Dashboard React on top of it. So let's get started. First things first, we need to get the product. So we can either download it from GitHub, download it from Creative Team, or we can clone it from GitHub. So we write git clone https github.com creative team official material dashboard react.git. Okay, so now we have both projects, Material Dashboard React and our newly created one with Webpack and Bubble. Now we can simply copy the source folder from Material Dashboard React into our new project. That will give us a lot of errors, such as errors for missing dependencies, module not found, and so on. So I suggest that we may start with adding the dependencies from Material Dashboard React's package JSON to our package JSON. We do not need all the dependencies from Material Dashboard React since we have built our own server using Webpack and also we have added other style loaders other than what the product has. So this being said, we need the following. npm install save. Material UI core version 3.1.0 Material UI icons version 3.0.1 Types Google Maps version 3, 30, 11. Types Marker Cluster Plus version 2.1.33. Chartist version 0, 10, 1. Class Names version 2.2.6. Perfect Scroll Bar version 1.4.0. React Chartist version 0, 13, 1. React Google Maps version 9.4.5. React Router Doom version 4.3.1 React Swipeable Views version 0.12.15 We are not going through all of them as they can be found on npmjs.com with all the details and their own documentations. Once again, we go inside the package JSON file and delete the carrots from the packages that we just got installed. We are almost done. We are going to copy all the contents of the source folder from Material Dashboard React inside our project source folder and overwrite the index.js file but keep inside the index.html file. Now we need to add some styles and fonts CDNs inside our index.html. So right after the last meta we are going to write link rel equals style sheet href equal cdn js delivered.net chartis js latest chartis .min .css. script src equal cdn js delivered.net chartis .js latest chartis .min .js. link rel equal stylesheet href equal https fonts .google APIs .com, css family equal roboto 300, 400, 500, 700 material plus icons. Link rel equals stylesheet, href equal https, fonts google apis.com icon, family equal material plus icons. And we are almost done. We still have a small problem. Let's open the server. npm start. As we can see, everything works fine, or it may seem so. Let's refresh the page and see what happens. When we do that, we have an error. Cannot get dashboard. Or if we navigate to another page, we will get, for example, cannot get user, and so on. So basically, our routes do not work because we have used Webpack and not React scripts. Thus, we need to make some changes inside either src index.js or inside our webpack config.js. I will choose the first option since it's pretty straightforward and easy to understand. 
We navigate inside the new index.js and we can change the history type. We put instead create browser history, create hash history. So let's change the import statement and let's change the function appeal. This will allow us to refresh the page without any other errors. Let's go ahead and refresh again the page and we can see that everything works now. So my job here is done. I really hope you've liked this tutorial and I'm very keen on hearing your thoughts about it. Just give this tutorial a comment and I will be more than happy to reply. See you on our next tutorial.